Hi everybody. Okay, this is an introduction video to a series of videos that I'm doing um, over the next week or two. Um, flattening the trajectory is the th flattening bullet trajectory. Now, as we all know, a bullet travels like that in an arc, and you can't flatten it. <laughs> There's just no way. Uh, but what you can do by uh, taking the proper zero, you can give yourself the opportunity to be able to shoot anything from 10 yards to 400 yards relatively easy with one sight set. Um, this is something I did in the military. This is something I did uh, shooting competition. Um, and basically, you're aiming off. Uh, by giving you by setting your rifle up for a 300 yard zero you're able to you're going to be shooting uh, a bit high at the one and the two and you're going to be shooting low at the 400 yards uh, by choosing the 300 yards you basically have to remember four things the 100 yard aim off the 200 yard aim off the zero, which you don't have to aim off, and the 400 yard aim off. Um, it's relatively simple. I, I mean, I did it in competition. It works. Um, I'm going to, what well, I'm going to do a series of calibers. Um, first one is 223. Uh, it will be a uh, uh, basically, I'm going to give you the numbers, but in, do, in, in giving you the numbers, it's you've got to do some of the leg work too. You've got to actually go to the range and do this. You've got to uh, go someplace where you can fire. At, you know, uh, at the the one, two, three, and four hundred yards, and uh, to get your zero. Um, now, it may be a, a regular range. It may be, I, I, I see in a lot of the videos, guys going out in the desert and stuff like that, and they've got plenty of room to shoot. Um, and uh, basically, you have to get your 300-yard zero. Once you have your 300-yard zero, you're all set. And uh, I also recommend picking a rifle, picking a, a caliber, right and learning how to shoot it um, because it can get pretty complex if you're shooting multiple calibers um, for your go-to rifle you know the rifle you hunt with right that is the one that you do this with right you know whichever one you're going to be doing it now there's going to be uh, when I do the video when you see the other videos um, you know, I stress in it that there's a lot of variables, and you have to deal with these variables. You have barrel length, right? <laughs> that was good. Uh, you have barrel length. You have uh, whatever cartridge you happen to be using, right? Um, light, heat whether it's cold out, whether it's hot out. These are going to, this, this, is, this will change the the zero of everything. Uh, also, well, light is, is a big one. You have a tendency to shoot high in low light and low in bright light uh, because you see the target. <coughs> you see the target. <coughs> good. Yeah. And the crow thinks so, too, right? You know. So anyway, um, I hope you enjoy this series of videos. Uh, I plan on doing a, a number of... Uh, I'm, I'm starting out with the basics. 223, 308, 30 out 6, 303. 303 because I'm a Canadian and I shoot a lot of 303 and I know a lot of people shoot 303s. I, um, I'm going to talk about I'm going to also do one on the 762 Russian. Um, and um, 8mm Mauser. And... Um, probably the 6.5 miles or. And uh, if any of you guys would like 
uh, um, you can do this with any of the magnum calibers. I can I can also give you that too, right? Um, and I'd be up to doing you know 400 yard zeros and 500 yard zeros because that can actually give you dis you know further distances as well. So I, I hope you enjoy it. Um, I've been thinking about doing this series for quite some time. Um, uh, I just didn't know. I wanted to make it simple because I, I, I'm going to tell you this is this is one of the easiest um, things anybody can do, and you don't have to be a master shot um, uh, to be able to do this. Right, um, and uh, aiming off is a is a great way to uh, to do it. I mean, you know, you're out hunting, and see all of a sudden something. You know, but one of the mistakes that a lot of people make they sight the rifles in dead on at a hundred yards, right? Which is fine if you're living in terrain where I'm at, where you don't have more than a hundred yards to shoot at. And you don't hear. Like, I mean, everything here is so close. Um, I've done, you know, I've talked to hundreds of people from my area. And, uh, you know, when you're talking to everybody, it's, you know, 25 to 75 yards, you know, is usually where it's done. But I know that that's not the case in other places. I mean, you're dealing with uh, <coughs> oh, just the distance is unlimited. Um, you know, in other areas where everything has been cut down, it's the, it's the same deal. But this is a great method to be able to shoot out the 400 yards with without any trouble, without screwing around with your sights and the thing is as I mentioned this in a couple of videos if you don't have a competition grade scope and what I mean by that is something that costs anywhere from eight hundred dollars to ten thousand dollars if you don't have a competition grade scope if you have one of those scopes with target turrets on it and you paid 120 bucks for it or 150 bucks for it guess what it's not going to be repeatable. So you're better to aim off than to screw around because uh, the backlash in, in those cheaper scopes is just way too much. Um, I remember using a Bushnell Scope Chief, which at the time was uh, quite a scope. Um, this, you know, this would have been 30 years ago. And uh, it was never repeatable. So I had to aim off, and uh, you know. Uh, but once I went to a repeatable scope, uh, I'll tell you, it made all the difference because then all I had to do is make the adjustments on the scope. Uh, with military sights, it's very easy to adjust uh, to various distances. But by and large, all you have to do is have a 300 yard zero. And you'll be able to hit everything out to 400 yards relatively easy. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the series. If you have any requests on, like I said, you know, uh, just let me know. And um, I'll try and get them up. It may take me a while. I don't know how many requests I'll have. Uh, you know, I might end up having to do a video for every caliber that's out there. Who knows? Because I know guys are shooting almost everything. But... You know, if you have a specific, if you're shooting a specific load, a specific velocity, if you're shooting, the, you know, a, a specific bullet weight, a specific velocity, let me know, and I can give you the, I can give you the numbers. Anyway, I hope you enjoy the series. Till the next time.